expecting to do it. So Ryan, first first fight back after a couple of years out. How did how did you feel in there? The first run, you know, was probably a bit tentative from, yeah, from you. Yeah, I think I had a uh, had a bit of ring rust, um, but I, I loosened up a bit in the second and I, I got the finish. Obviously, I, I took some shots, but uh, came back, got the win. Yeah, no, you had to rock you, but it seemed like it woke you up and you kind of realised the occasion that it was, and you went on to finish him. Was that, you know, kind of what happened for you? Yeah, I think obviously that wasn't the plan to get dropped, <laughs> but uh, I think oh, I came out was a bit was a bit tentative, was a bit rusty, um, but then started unloading the second round. Once, 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 like I say, once I got dropped, I realised I was in a fight, and then put it on him. Did you kind of think though that after two years out, that you know, even though I know you didn't want it to happen, but you would have some ring rust coming in tonight? I, I didn't. I tried not. I tried not to think about it, but I, I didn't get any nerves coming in. And I, I, I don't know. I wasn't really. I wasn't really like zoning in on the fight or thinking about it. But once I got in there and I got settled, I was. I was alright. It's a few minutes. <laughs> what did you? What did you make of fighting in a big arena like the SSC? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, but I uh, felt the uh, atmosphere when I came down and stuff. So it's really a uh, good experience. There's a, there's a lot of heat coming off your right hand tonight. Yeah. Is, is that something that you can get confidence with? So yeah, we're just trying to uh, trying to counter because he, he he lunges in a lot with his jab or what yeah. from what we're, what we're seeing. So I was just trying to counter that right hand every time. Uh, but to, to start with, I was like I say I was getting I was doing the fakes, and I wasn't like following the shots up. And that's when he caught me. So yeah. good shot, he's hard, strong guy. I know this fight, this comeback fight meant to you coming back after the stomach ulcers, having you know the birth of your daughter. Yep. Like just the reaction of, of Fisher and the rest of the team in your corner. Like just how elated they were and after everything in that ring and everything that's happened over the past two years, do you feel like it's been a culmination of an up and down two years, but you know, and a, a two years that are very important for you and the growth of your career? Definitely, yeah. Like, like I say, I've, I've put myself away for a while now, uh, taking training a lot more seriously with uh, the birth of my daughter. So, yeah, everything's going good. Just need to yeah, keep fighting and keep winning, not, not have too long off. And how did you find the new white guy? Yeah, it's quite, it was quite easy, mate. Yeah, like I say, I was... When I was fighting at welterweight, I didn't really cut anyway. I was just lazy, didn't really diet. Um, but the cut lightweight was just it's right. It felt right. I feel felt good. Yeah, the speed seemed to be the factor in the second round and getting to the finish because he seemed to have sort Slow of down, blew yeah. himself out in the first round. So yeah. could you feel the could you feel the difference in him? Yeah, I felt between when he was ground and pounding. I felt when I stood up, he started to tire a bit. He punched himself out. So that's when I decided to uh, put it on him and pressure him against the cage. Just pick my shots nicely and uh, get the finish. Do you think the ref should have stopped in a bit, stepped in a bit earlier, or do you think it was the perfect stoppage? Uh, I think, it, it, I mean, he was he was out on his feet, you know what I mean. But it's hard, with, it's hard to tell when someone's wobbling a bit. But uh, like I say, you, you take a shot. He's a tough guy. Uh, I respect the referee's decision, so it is what it is. It's ten and zero now, and you know, regardless of, of the time off, there's no. You know, denying that you're definitely one of the most promising fighters. You know, we look at the lightweight division. You look at the champion Chris Fishgold over in Cage Warriors. You've got guys like Brendan Lofney, Saul Rogers around that way. Um, are you happy now to progress and start taking those big names? Because you've proven that 100%. after two years away, you're, you're still. Yeah, like I say, I've never, I've never been one for taking easy fights. My last fight at welterweight was against Ali Arish. You know, at the time he was, he was like, uh, he was like 22 and two. You know what I mean? No one wanted to fight him, and I fought him. And now at this lightweight, I'm, I'm ready to fight anyone, whoever wants it, let's go.